Um, I was um, I was I was wondering um, uh, for pro Proposition G, um, the, with 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 this um, with this prop um, would hurt the drivers financially, in any way. Um, yes and no. Um, they will the drivers will not get as much um, excessive overtime as they currently get um, under the current work rules. Um, I, do not, I do not in any way want to cut their salary. I think that media drivers have an extremely hard job and I want to pay them well. Um, and so I'm not, I do not in any way in favor of reducing their salary. But they get a lot of overtime now. Um, and for example, um, under Muni's work rules, if uh, sick time, counts towards qualifying for overtime. So if you call in sick for 40 hours and then come into work, you get overtime. Um, that, to me, is not, that's not a good work rule. Um, so that's, that's my view of what the impact will and should be. Um, is, is it, um, what about health care for me, drivers? Do, do they like, um, are, does the city support, um, give like drivers health care or? Yes. Yeah. So. yeah. All city employees get health care and um, I support that. Yeah, media drivers also have a full pension. And, you know, and it's interesting. I, um, with Prop G, um, some people, you know, a lot of people get angry at media drivers. And I like to remind, and I, I'm, actually the only candidate in this race who actually works with many drivers. I'm a deputy city attorney and I represent, uh, I defend drivers who get sued, among mm -hmm. other city employees who get sued, <laughs> get sued a lot in the city. Um, and you know, and you, you would think that if you're, if the many drivers that you're working with are the ones getting sued, you're going to see the worst of the worst. Actually, that's not, not true. We know that, you know, there's some meritorious lawsuits, there are also some completely frivolous lawsuits. And, the significant majority of the drivers that I've worked with over the years are absolutely tremendous. These are really good people who work hard, who care about providing good customer service, who are raising families, and they're good people. And even if you look at, you know, when the, when the Muni Drivers Union, uh, the TWU, twice rejected uh, givebacks, when every other city employee union was giving back, Muni, uh, TWU rejected givebacks. I think something like 40%, give or take, of the drivers voted in favor of the givebacks. So I always try to remind people you can't just, you know, group people together, that, that there are a lot of tremendous community drivers who work hard and they deserve our respect. So, okay. Thank yeah. you. Does the city pay their full retirement? Yes. Uh, the community drivers are... Um, um, as I understand it, are um, one of the unions that do not contribute to their pension. But some of the city workers do About, contribute? Uh, approximately half, I think it's a little more now because some contracts have been renegotiated, contribute. So for example, in the city attorney's office, 7.5% um, of my pre-tax income is withheld. Um, and that is, you know, a lot of city employees pay about that much. Um, there are some unions, including the Muni Drivers Union, that do not pay into their pension. And I think we're going to see a trend in the city, and I think we need to, in terms of every city employee contributing to make the system more sustainable. Yes? At the end of the proposition, don't want you to have no opinion at all, or you think that the proposition itself really doesn't address the question and in no way will resolve it, whether one side or the other wins? Um, hmm, I just thought. You know, one valid measure that I noticed is the gift that keeps on giving and just keeps coming back is uh, question time, which is, uh, I think it's Prop C. Uh, with the year, mayor? With the mayor. Yeah. That Chris Daly um, is sort of the proponent of this. He put it on first as a non-binding measure to require the mayor to come and do like a, you know, a British prime minister yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, question time with the... Uh, <laughs> with the Board of Supervisors, you know, put it on as a non-binding thing, and it passed, because no campaign was run against it, and the mayor, it was non-binding, so the mayor just didn't do it. Then he put it on as a charter amendment, so it would be binding, 
and the voters voted it down. And now he's putting it on, put it on again. And you know, I I don't like the relationship between the board and the mayor. I think it is dysfunctional, um, and I, I it's disappointing. I want there to be a better working relationship. Who do you think is at the bottom of that? Why, and, why is that the? the I'll, let me, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Um, but I, the, my problem with Prop C, and I don't support it, is requiring that you go down once a month when they don't have, it's, all it's going to do is, it's going to be great you know, TV and drama and very entertaining for anyone who wants to watch it, but I don't think it's going to accomplish anything. And I think the only way we're going to accomplish anything is just having a better working relationship that develops. Um, you know, that's a, in terms of who's responsible, you know, I think there's a lot of blame to go around. Um, I, uh, you know, um, Aaron Peskin and Chris Daly were, you know, not always the most collegial colleagues for the mayor, and I think the mayor a lot of times <laughs> fell back into a corner that, you know, he came in in 2000, January of 2004 with a board where I think, um, I want to say six, Six or seven of the members had been, you know, on the other side of the mayor's race, and you know, were not always very friendly to him, and so it immediately created this like divide. And I'm not saying that 100% of the fault is on the board. You know, the, the mayor, like all of us, is we're all imperfect, and we can all do things differently. Um, but I, you know, for years, um, you know, some members of the board would just take as many pot shots as they could of the mayor. Whenever he proposed something, they were immediately against it. We saw it with the Small Business Assistance Center that the mayor proposed, and they shot down. So we put it on the ballot, and it passed. And now it's an, a very, very important uh, uh, agency in helping small businesses get started and, and grow. Um, we saw it with the Community Justice Center that the mayor proposed, which provides alternative um, adjudications for nonviolent offenders who, where there's a substance abuse or mental health uh, source or um, root cause in terms of putting them immediately into services instead of the traditional criminal justice system. The mayor proposed it. The board was automatically against it because it came from the mayor. He put it on the ballot. It ended up being a big fight. We now have it. We've had it for a few years and it's been extremely successful. So it's just, you know, Mayor Newsom, who I support Mayor Newsom, he supports me and I have a very good relationship with him. Whether you love him or hate him, he's going to be gone either this January or the following January. We're going to elect four new supervisors in November. And I think we have a lot of opportunity just to sort of start fresh and have a better, a better atmosphere at City Hall. You know, with that, it's about 8.30, yeah. so I, I, that was the time to announce. So. <laughs> Unless there's a burning question. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you thank very much. You. Thank you. If anyone's interested, by chance, we have window signs over there. I'll, and, I'll bring uh, them out here by the door. Yeah, and, and South Park headquarters, Castle Street. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Matt. Yeah. Thank you. We'll see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.